y'all, what's going on? Good morning, happy Thursday. It's Erin here. It's uh, pouring rain outside, so we're indoors for our Get Up and Move moves today. Um, I've got three moves for you. We're doing some core moves uh, today. So find a spot on the floor, or if you cannot get to the floor, use either a couch or maybe even your bed or something with um, as kind of firm a surface as you possibly can get. Uh, so that we can help support the low back and make sure proper form um, and all that good stuff. So uh, yes, grab a spot on the floor. You don't need any other equipment today. We're just using your body weight and focusing in on some nice deep core strength. Um, all of these, you can also do a variation of that from either a seated or a standing position or an incline surface. So I'll try and touch on a couple of those, but if you need any support or help in getting um, or figuring out what variation or modification is going to work for you to make this exercise happen and um, within your your um, zone of range of motion and, and mobility and all that then please let me know and reach out all right so first of all we're going to go into a forearm side plank all right we're going to take our bottom knee onto the mat Okay, it's going to stay down here. The bottom knee is going to stay. All right, you're going to bend that knee to about 90 degrees and the heel is behind you. So the idea is you still want your hips stacked. So basically you're here getting set up. All right, your forearm is right underneath your shoulder. Your elbow is right underneath your shoulder. You're pulling back, lifting, squeezing. Our focus is here on these muscles right on the side, on the lower side. Okie dokes. Then hips are lifted. You're just going to bend that back knee, or the sorry, the bottom knee. So it's about 90 degrees. Pull the shoulder back so it's nice and strong. Pull the belly button in. Okay, everything is squeezing in here and supported. And then you're going to lift those hips. So here we go. We can leave it here and hold for about 20 seconds on each side, or we can add a hip dip in there. So just letting the hip lower, as soon as that hip touches the ground, you're squeezing those abdominals and lifting those hips again. You don't need to go way up here. You don't want to be rotated back or forward, okay, with this one. You want to be in that nice straight line. Top leg is supporting. Hey, if you're here and you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can take that top leg up, okay, to go into a little bit of abduction with that. All right, so there's three different variations. You're gonna do five to 10 on each side. Um, yeah, five to 10 on each side. Okie dokes, next one. We're lying flat on our backs. Okay, so get down nice and safely, however works for you. We want to get a straight leg, leg circle. So we're doing single leg at a time. So one option is you can leave one foot on the floor the other leg comes up. You're gonna leave your head on, resting on the mat. You're gonna pull your belly button in, so pressing your low back against the mat. And then, depending on um, your mobility and your core strength and where you're at, you're gonna draw circles, okay? So baby circles, you can be up here, nice and slow, okay? Focusing on keeping both hips on the mat. Pressing that low back into the ground and pulling the belly button in. Okay, you can do some bigger circles. All right, awesome. Okay, and then you can switch directions. So big circles, really focusing in on this one. Pressing your hands into the ground for some support. Try not to put them underneath your bum. All right, that's actually not helping you in the long term. Okay, building that core strength. And then you'll switch. So do about five in each direction. Okay, and then uh, five to ten, depending on how you feel. And then we'll switch legs. The other option here is to keep both legs up in the air. This one's a bit more of a challenge. Okay, so you're having to balance a little bit more, fighting a little bit more to keep that opposite hip on the ground. You can bend the knee to 90 degrees if you like to keep them both out. Otherwise, foot on the floor, knee bent for a little bit more support. Okie dokes, that's our second exercise. 
And then our final exercise is a beast hold with potential for a leg extension depending on how you want to challenge yourself today. So I would encourage you to try the leg extension. All right, I'll give you a couple of options for that and to add a little bit more of a dynamic movement to these, this exercise. So we're gonna set up for the beast hold to start with. So wrists under the shoulders, belly button pulling in, press the ground away here, and knees under the hips. Okay, make sure you have to adjust there. If you need to adjust, then adjust. Okay, fingers spread out nice and wide. And you wanna keep a neutral spine so you're not looking down, not looking up. Okay, keep that belly button tucked in so your pelvis is slightly tilted. Press the ground away, toes tucked under. Okay, just going through all those cues over and over. And then we're gonna lift those knees and hover them just off the floor. So here, so if you're comfortable here and that's where you're at, then stay here. Keep the belly button pulling in. If you wanna add a challenge, you can tap, extend that leg, tap the toe, keep it low. Or you can take that leg up a little bit higher, extend, pressing that heel back, keeping those knees just hovering and keeping those hips level. All right, so a couple of options here. You can do that side plank from a couch. Okay, you can always take that knee to the side. Be here, you can hold. You can add that leg abduction in there. I wouldn't recommend dropping the hip with this one. Um, yeah, just for, for alignment purposes. So just hold that side plank right like that, okay? You can do it from the wall. Okay, this last beast hold, you could do that from the couch too. So you can be here, plant those hands or even the forearms, okay, flat back, take those knees out, and you can even practice that extension. Okay, so you're just trying to work the core. You don't have to be on the floor. For any of those, um, if you don't want to, or if you can't get down to the floor or get up, okay. That's it team for your exercises today. I hope you have a fabulous Thursday. And um, because it's, I call it Thriving Thursday, I just want you to think no matter how your week has been going so far, I know that personally I've had a tough week internally, <laughs> just focusing in on positive. So we wanna try to cultivate that and be able to that strength and that freedom comes from being able to, when you're kind of feeling that heaviness or that like bit of darkness that can sometimes be there and linger, then you can, if you can harness that and turn it around and, and create something more positive and turn those feelings around, it really takes a lot of work, but I know that you can do it. And once you do that, that gives you ultimate power and freedom, <laughs> all right? And so I want you to thrive today. I want you to finish off your week feeling really strong, feeling positive and, and grateful and thankful and knowing that you can pull yourself out of those holes. You can turn your situation and circumstances around because your circumstances are not you, all right? They're things, they're external things that are happening. Absolutely, they're affecting you, but you ultimately have the control of what's going on inside. So let's work together.